Welcome to this ICANN Media Podcast. I'm your host, Rob Hislop. We are at the Global Petroleum Show. Right now, I'd like to introduce you to two entrepreneurs. Kelsey Miller-Anderson is to my immediate right, and Aliyah Dosa. Thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, thank you for having us. Yeah, thank you. You're with a company called Myco Remedy. Uh, perhaps I'll get you to tell us a little bit about it first. Yeah, so Myco Remedy is a new startup, and essentially what we're doing is we've developed a brand new technology that has the capability to com uh, completely eliminate hydrocarbons from the soil in just 21 days. And the great thing about our technology is it's 100% natural. So we're really setting ourselves apart from the industry. Uh, how did you get involved in this? Yeah, so we're both a part of a, well, involved in remediation. Uh, that's all Kelsey. Uh, six years ago, actually, uh, she was really curious about it, and she saw a dandelion growing through the concrete, actually, and I love this story. Uh, she saw the dandelion growing and thought, how can something so delicate grow through something like concrete? And she knew it to be hydrocarbon-based, and so she explored it a little bit further, uh, saw that there was a mechanism involved that would have applications to things like uh, the tailings uh, and the fine tails there, and so uh, she explored that further. There, and now we're focusing on hydrocarbon contaminated soil sites. Yeah. So Kelsey, why is this an area that you thought that you wanted to do something about? Yeah, so I mean, I grew up in Alberta, so I was always really sort of immersed in our industry. And so, you know, I'd heard a lot of the negative things that were happening and some of the environmental problems. And I thought, you know, um, as a young person in the province, it's in my best interest not to just criticize what's going on, but to find a way to solve some of those problems. So I really wanted to set up, uh, set out to see how I could impact the industry and sort of solve some of the things that uh, people associated with it in a negative way. So... So tell us about the process then a little bit, Aaliyah. About the process of remediation. Yes. Yeah, you're asking all the technical questions. <laughs> I know, I know, but I, I've, I have talked to you and I know you know the answers. So uh, tell me a little bit about, about how you go about doing it. Yeah, happy to chat about it. So uh, essentially we uh, use something called a myco mat and you can imagine a roll of sod that you would roll onto the ground. So uh, it's this mat and our main ingredient is mycelium, which is the vegetative part of a mushroom. And so that's in the mat. You roll it down on top of the contaminated site, and it just remediates downward that way. And what's great about the technology is, unlike some of the competitive uh, uh, different methodologies of remediation, where it's ex situ and you have to actually remove the contaminants, ours is completely in situ. So you can leave it there, uh, and the mycelium will actually break down the hydrocarbons uh, right on site, and you can leave it there. Okay. So how did you come up with this mat idea? Yeah, so I mean, I developed the technology of this micro remediation that was able to really remediate in a brand new way. But then it kind of came, well, how do we apply this um, and develop it and commercialize it so that it's really easily transported and really easily applied to site? So we wanted to make sure that we were going to be able to keep uh, sort of application costs low too. Um, so with our micro mat, yeah, we're able to remediate at about uh, $20 per cubic meter, whereas the traditional uh, methods are starting out at several hundred minimum. Um, going up into the three thousand dollar range, so so it's it's more economical. How do you go about? I, I almost hesitate to look at you as I'm about to ask this question. But how do you go about making your product? Then should I look at you, Aaliyah, or should I turn to Kelsey? Okay. Um. <laughs> Yeah, so we uh, we source the mycelium in different ways depending on which site that we're using. And actually, one of the great things about being here at the show is that we're looking for some field trials to do this summer. Uh, and so depending on which site, uh, we'll use different methods. But what's great about it is that we can do it directly and completely ourselves uh, and source the mycelium that way. Do you need a large area to, to have your mats, I, I guess, produced? Yeah. Yeah, so right now that's definitely dependent on the site because the different sites we're remediating, uh, we're able to make the mats different sizes so we can tailor it for that site. And we also have a vertical inst installation method that doesn't use the mats uh, per se. But yeah, we've designed a method that's really easy for ourselves to fabricate these mats and doesn't take very long. And one of the cool things is that because uh, the mycelium needs to be fresh, we actually manufacture everything uh, within the two weeks leading up to the remediation and all our materials can be sort of locally sourced and we can bring them into that area to manufacture around uh, near the location where we're going to be using the mats. So it's not like you have a stockpile of mats then you do it as needed. Exactly so we're not stockpiling our mats we're uh, making them as we have the demand. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you've come to Global Petroleum Show you've had a chance to make your pitch what's the feedback been like? 
It's been amazing, actually. We couldn't have imagined how good it's been. We uh, had a chance to pitch a couple of days ago uh, with some other clean tech companies, and it was our first pitch competition. Uh, and we're happy to say that we actually won. And so that's been really great for us, and it's garnered quite a bit of attention. So we're really excited about that. So what's the next step for you? The next step is uh, jumping right into the field trial program for the summer. Yeah. Now, is this something, do you feel like it's, obviously you believe in your product, you think it's, it's quality. Are things moving fast enough for you? Uh, I mean, if we get all these field trials in, uh, this summer, things are moving pretty fast. We've had uh, people approach us who have sites all over the world. Um, so we're going to start in Alberta, but we're hoping to branch out this winter season when remedia remediation isn't happening in Alberta. We're actually hoping to go down um, to some sites in more uh, tropical climates and do some remediation there. So things are moving pretty quick for us. Fantastic. Well, congratulations and, and good luck with your product. Thank you so much. Right. Thank you. Thank you so much. We've been chatting with uh, Kelsey and Aaliyah here from Michael Remedy on ICANN Media.